Well, ladies and gentlemen, there was another major storm in the Houston area, and we had another situation at Minute Maid Park, and I say another situation because this exact same thing has happened before back in 2019, where you will see the seepage of water coming not only through the roof, it's like raining at Minute Maid Park, you can also look at the American flag just drenched with the roof, presumably fully closed. Now, how does this happen? What is the response? Are they going to renovate Minute Maid Park? We're going to be discussing all of that, but just looking at this, yeah, back in 2019, Minute Maid Park flooded. Now, they got some crazy rain, uh, and then last night it happens again. I don't think it really flooded last night. It was more so the issue to where there's like 25 mile per hour winds inside of supposedly fully enclosed dome stadium. And it always seems to happen out beyond left center field with all that glass right where the train tracks are. And I've speculated, I've said, look, they need to renovate Minute Maid Park by putting in new glass, but this actually might be a roof issue that needs to be fixed. Somebody saying it was coming down in buckets in some spots. At one point, the rain was coming down so hard, they closed down the bullpen for a few minutes. It was not a little shower. And the bullpen is out in right center field. And I also want to say this rarely happens. It has to be a really bad storm. And there were really bad storms in Houston last night. But still, this is not a good look. And this is some type of infrastructure problem at Minute Maid Park that needs to be fixed. We've heard about Chase Field having a leaky roof. Well, Minute Maid Park, th there seems to be more problems to where there is some type of significant, maybe problem with the closing mechanism of the roof. Because how would you have 25 mile per hour winds on a fully enclosed stadium? Obviously, there's something that's really wrong that's allowing airflow to come in through a supposedly fully enclosed space. So I would imagine they could potentially announce some type of renovation. I don't think it's going to be anything sexy. I don't think it's really going to change the stadium at all. I've said, look, if you look out in left center beyond where the glass is, I would try and change that up a little bit. It just looks really old and outdated to me. But I, I don't even think they're going to do that. I think they're just going to try and fix the roof wherever the actual problem is. It probably has something to do with the, the way it opens and closes, like it's not meshing together perfectly. Uh, but that would just be my speculation. Now, when it comes to Minute Maid Park in general, the stadium has received probably more renovations than you would think. Now, everyone remembers Tales Hill. People hate that they removed it. But when they removed it, they obviously brought the fences in. They did a bunch of stuff to the right center field area and they removed seats in the second deck and installed some type of little bar area. It's almost like three or four levels there. And they've also got it fully connected with some staircases. I think it looks decent, honestly. They've also got that IV batter's eye, which is cool. It's better than what a lot of teams do. A lot of teams will just have like a black background. At least they did like the IV with the Houston logo. I think that looks nice. It's well done. But that was a pretty big renovation. And then even above the batter's eye, it looks like there's a little perch for people to look over and watch the game. And then they also did another renovation out beyond the right field, kind of down the line, the first baseline. There was the upper deck that kind of wrapped around and they just replaced all of that with a bar area. And that's the exact same thing I think American Family Field is going to do. They have the exact same upper deck configuration just down their third baseline. So I think that was also a pretty good renovation. So it's not like Minute Maid Park hasn't received renovations. I will say, I wonder if they would possibly want to get more light into the stadium, if they would consider back beyond the backdrop of the scoreboard, possibly changing out that wall for maybe a glass paneling or glass siding or putting in windows or something like that, just to get some more natural light into the stadium. Because this is another MLB stadium, like most of them, most retractable roof stadiums, that is. It's a stadium that is closed about 90% of the time. And that's just because of heat. Re really doesn't rain a ton in Houston. But when it does rain, you know, you get those early summer thunderstorms. They can be really bad. And I guess last night, you know, it happened again where you can look out, you know, at the arches and you can see the darker spots on them. It's like water is somehow seeping through the exterior of the stadium on to the interior. And it's not like there's a big problem because, again, it doesn't rain a ton and, you know, it'd have to rain really hard for this to happen. But you would think there would be some type of renovation in order to possibly make sure that retractable roof closes properly. 
and there was no issues because again this has been a problem i remember this happening back in 2019 where it was even worse and they actually had flooding in the concourse of the stadium and honestly, because technically this is so infrequent, they, they might not do anything about it. Uh, maybe they'll do something, I don't know. I think the renovation to fix it, it, it could be pretty costly. Those retractable roofs are very annoying to repair. And American Family Field and Chase Field apparently have both had issues with theirs. The way the American Family Field roof opens and closes, it's a different type of mechanism. But they're doing a renovation. I think they're going to be doing something similar. There are actually more things in common with American Family Field and Minute Maid Park than you would think, believe it or not. Obviously, the retractable roof, the glass paneling is the same design, and then the upper deck configuration is kind of similar, at least the way it wraps around. But either way, this is something that you would expect them to possibly fix, but they could just say, I mean, if it happens once every four years, what are you going to do? There's going to be a rain delay inside the stadium. I mean, it is really bad, though. You can you can see the flags billowing in the wind, and it's like the, the roof is closed. It's supposed to be a fully... I mean, you would have to think, wouldn't the air conditioning keeping the stadium cold be an issue? Well, I guess because it, considering it's such a massive area, it probably doesn't matter if there's a few crevices that are open, but I guess when it comes to you know, a, a rainstorm, it, it is a big issue because because it just seeps in all over the place. And I mean, it does make the stadium look cheap. But again, if it happens one time every four years, it's pretty much irrelevant, but it just kind of looks bad. Either way, another quick thing I wanted to discuss, you know, when it comes to MLB, you would think Rob Manfred would step up at a certain point and try and actually protect the professionalism of the game. And what I'm talking about is, is allowing teams to plaster their jerseys with sponsors. I don't think I've seen a worse one than the Cleveland Guardians. It looks like they're playing for Marathon. I mean, that logo is so massive, and it's just so cheap. Like, you go watch a WNBA game, they've got like 50 sponsors on their jerseys. You can understand that. That league loses money. But MLB really needs to have a freaking giant Marathon logo on the side? And you will, and, and, and people are okay with it. It just looks so, it, it looks pathetic. It, it really does look pathetic. So you would think they would say, no, we're not doing this. We're not third grade Little League where we have to have little ice cream shop on the side to be able to pay for our jerseys. This is Major League Baseball. This is ridiculous. And I mean, don't they put up enough ads behind home plate? And, and now they've got them on the field. They, they like, they, they paint them into the side of the grass it's just out of control and there's just no leadership. It looks like crap. So remove it. Do the owners really need an extra $20 million? Oh, 5.425 billion wasn't enough. We need 5.35 billion or whatever. I mean, it's just, I just think it looks so bad. And if you're a Guardians player, it's like you're playing on a, on a third grade Little League team. The Marathon logo is bigger than the Guardians logo. It just looks terrible. So th th that's my opinion on the whole logo situation. I really didn't want to do a separate video on that, but I did want to discuss that. Either way, when it comes to Minute Maid Park, they've already given the stadium renovations. They might try and somehow fix the roof, but I can't see them doing a whole lot more rather than just playing out the next, I don't know, 10 years or so at Minute Maid. Maybe longer, I'm not sure, but 10, 15 years and then they'll probably be going to some type of, let's be honest, translucent roof stadium. And the reason you would do that is because the retractable roof costs more money than a translucent roof, and it's only open 10% of the time. Now, they could be a lot more liberal with the roof if the fans could stomach, you know, 80 degree weather, but obviously fans would start complaining because you could technically just close the roof, and instead of sitting in 80 degree weather, you could get at 71, 72 degrees perfect room temperature with the roof closed. That's always the issue. They want it perfect. Well, normally, that's not how Mother Nature works. There's going to be humidity. There's going to be heat. So the retractable roof is basically rendered useless outside of early in the season and possibly late in the season. Remember when Manfred had to bully the Astros into opening the roof when it was like 67 degrees and perfectly clear in the playoffs and they threw a fit in a little temper tantrum and whined about it? It's just pathetic. Open the roof. That's the reason it exists. We're not, you don't play in a dome. You do not play in a dome. When it's nice, the roof is open. It's a non-negotiable. But they can't do it. We like the crowd noise. It's baseball. Really? Just open the roof. But 
Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Links to that's always in the description.